Hey everybody, we are exploring Nevada, as you can tell, and it's super deserty. And we stumbled upon the ghost town of Nelson. It's kind of a touristy spot. Uh, we're trying to stay out of everybody's way because there's other people here and there's two weddings going on. But, old fire truck. As you can see, there's tons of old car parts and tires laying around. There's an old Chrysler here. this car which what well, little bit of it's left I don't know about but there's a ton of old cars here of course we can get some footage of it this is a super old Chevy pickup truck that was converted into a water truck or a gas truck whatever uh, met some natives that said they've never been here before so this must not be a very popular spot we got this old metro here delivery van got some buckets in it international what did this used to be i think this used to be like a maytag like repair van this is pretty cool i'm glad the wife picked this place out old Dodge school bus. It's weird how it gets like, goes from like regular to like wide, it V's out. It's weird. I guess somebody actually lives in there now. There's like a bed and some curtains and, yep. Old gas station, Amco. Lots of old, old delivery vehicles here. It looks like some of these houses back in here are still active. Window air conditioner in that one up there. Another old International Metro. Another Dodge van. Ooh. Old internet. Oh, oh, I found the gold mine back here, guys. No steering wheel, no nothing. It's been robbed of everything. Body's still in actually really good shape. No rust. Still got the plates. Another Dodge. It's like an old dairy van. Old Chevy van. Old Mack GMC truck. Another international truck, van. Ooh, look at these. This is this is heaven for people like my stepdad. He'd be able to sit here and say, "I had one of those. That's a '70, you know, that's a '54 Chrysler. You can tell by the tail lights. This is crazy. We've got some big stuff too. Big stuff." This is on the other side of the road. There's people here, so we're masking up social distancing. Got some old Tonkas, like the ones I played with when I was a kid. Old custom Harley. Old car. Oh, some rabbits. It's a fire truck. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. Another hair. Another hair. Rabbit, Another rabbit, hair. rabbit, rabbit. They're multiplying like rabbits. <laughs> Dodge. Lots of old buses out here. <clears throat> old Cadillac. Old Army truck. Lots of old Chryslers out here, Chryslers and Dodges, especially in the buses. A 
Found your old Toyota Hilux graveyard over here. There's one, two, three, four, five, six of them. Big old rabbit. Whatever. What if it says that one's not domesticated? And then there's a young one right there. Mm hmm. They're big. Mm hmm. Bye. See you later. Bye, friendo. Got some doors. Critters living in here. Ooh. Old tiller. Whoop, 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 whoop. Hear the, hear the quail. The owner of the property told us to stay out of the cactuses because there are rattlesnakes. So I'm gonna take his advice because I'm in shorts. Tortas in Espanol. I'm gonna head back over the road here in a minute, get some more of those big trucks. Old Sinclair gas pump. Sinclair is my favorite gas station. Closest one to me is in Indiana, right across the road from Cincinnati. There's one. It's really weird that there's only one. Old Chevrolet delivery truck. Another bus. Some old wagons or rail cars or something. What's left of them? It's starting to get a little dark. I'm gonna try and get just a few more videos of this big stuff over here. Reminds me of Mad Max. Like, look how it's like. You got a custom you can tell it's something standard on the bottom like old military or whatever then they've had the bus on top double smokestack probably this one you can tell is for the engine that was probably like uh, a stove for either heat or cooking probably both of it also i'd like to point out this one says old school get it because it's a school bus get it old john deere tractor Old International. I really wish, really wish my stepdad was here. Cause he could literally tell me, oh, that's this, this is this, this is that. Every one of these cars, I guarantee he'd get, I'd say 99% of these right. He might not know like the Beatles, but he'd know, oh, that's this. You can tell by the grill. Like these cars he could tell. One day when I get old, I'll be able to tell you the difference between like a 03 350Z and a 05 and stuff like that. So it'll just be generational. Is that an old airplane? Yep, old US Navy airplane over there. Let's go look at that. Old equipment. We got all kinds of concrete mixtures, all kinds of weird stuff. A couple of planes here. There's a cockpit down there and a motorcycle. And right here we've got an old US Navy plane. Wow. This is crazy. This stuff's just out here in the middle of the desert. Somebody's just drug it out here. Probably bought it for scrap and then just ended up here with it. And we've got the tail off another plane. Man, this is crazy. This is out here. Just old planes. You can see the, what's left of the turbines there and stuff. And over there, you've got more cars. This would be something you could come back and literally spend all day here. There's more Toyota Hiluxes over there. Or as they were called here in America, T100s or just Toyota Pickup. planes here if you've never seen how a airplane engine works it works in like a clock motion this is a head this is a head and as you can see there's a spark plug hole and the crank actually goes in a circle so this one goes that one goes that one goes it's like a V in a circle so and the bad thing about these is 
where you've got a head on the bottom and stuff, this doesn't spin. It moves inside, so it would always leak out the bottom. So you could tell a plane had been stopped, it would want to leak out the bottom, because naturally all the oil is going to run to the bottom. This right here, probably one of your intake plates or something. So that's really cool. I've never seen one just out of a plane hanging out there. And there's your, that's where your propeller would go. That's really cool. Like I said, I've never seen one of these out before. If you're wondering where this place is, it is actually the Chattacup Mine is the actual name of the place. This was built up around the mine, as you can see back there. There's the mine up there where it all came down. And there's also a sign here that says El Dorado Canyon. So that should help get you in the right area. That's crazy. Reminds me of the movie Cars. Just the valley, the old run downtown, everything. So people do live here. Like I said, there's mailboxes. And there's a little general store there that's closed. But uh, El Dorado Canyon, that's where this is. Check out these, this bus and then these last couple of cars. And we're going to get out of here. Head on down the road because it is getting dark. Man, this thing just keeps going and going. Look, there's more out there. Old military vehicle and some old buses. There's some out there. And this stuff is everywhere out here. What's crazy is some of them have perfect glass, some of them busted out, I'd say vandalism, but what's crazy is if you notice, the glass is really, really clear for obviously sitting out here this long. I think the sand blown by keeps it clear or whatever. Old tour bus. No markings of any kind, California. It's weird it doesn't say like Ford, Studebaker, International, anything on it. it just just door bus. That the door is locked with a padlock, of course. I wonder what the DOT on these tires is, if there is one. There's a Uniroyal Fleet Carrier. It's a 10 ply, 9 by 20. US rubber safety. PA 1080, made in America. These are actually newer. If that's the DOT, it would be October of 80. But that just doesn't seem right. I mean, it could be. So, well guys, this is a little ghost town me and the wife stumbled upon. Pretty cool little adventure. I wish we had more time. I wish we got here when the little store was open. Or, you know, a little bit before daylight so I can shoot you some more stuff, but uh, I'm, uh, I'm gonna get out of here, guys. So here's a quarter. Hello? Well, guys, that's about it. I'm gonna go over here and look at a few more. They're getting ready to close up. People actually live here. And we actually discovered this little area by accident. We're actually on the way to go do something else. But while we're here, I may see if I can't come back here during the day and talk to somebody and get a little bit more information about all these cars, where everything came from, etc. So, have fun. Head back over the road here in a minute, get some more of those big trucks.